Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Good morning. This is a Weather Extreme video for Friday, June 21st, 2019, the first day of astronomical summer. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. A ridge begins to build and heat levels will be on the rise starting today and through the weekend. We'll have a daily dose of afternoon showers and storms, but a few stronger storms are possible today. More on that in just a moment. At 6.40 this morning, we have some clouds over the southern half of the state, along with some moving up through the northwestern locations as well, while the northeast and eastern parts are mainly clear. Temperatures were in the mid-60s to the upper 70s across central Alabama. Several locations were at 66 degrees as the cool spots, while Troy tops out as the warm spot at 79 degrees already. Birmingham was at 73 degrees. No watches or advisories across central Alabama this morning, but we do see a heat advisory up for a good portion of south Alabama as heat index values could reach as high as 108 degrees during the daylight hours today. Now on to the forecast for today. Skies will be mostly clear throughout the day today as ridging starts to set up over the southeast. That will pump more warm and humid air up into the area. We will have a small chance of a few isolated to scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms across the area. Then, late in the afternoon through the evening hours, we'll be watching to our northwest to see if we'll have an MCS moving in this afternoon. The latest NAM is showing one moving into North Alabama by 3 p.m., and into the northern parts of central Alabama about an hour or so later. It is modeled to progress nearly due southward through central Alabama throughout the evening and late night hours before dying out over the extreme southern parts of the area right at or just after midnight. The SBC has a marginal risk up for much of central Alabama with the exception of the southwestern parts of the area, while a slight risk is up for much of north Alabama. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour will be the main concern with this MCS. Today's highs will be in the lower to mid 90s across the area, and with the humidity levels, heat index values will be around 5 to 7 degrees warmer than the actual temperature. With ridging in place, it will force most of the afternoon shower and thunderstorm development to the eastern half of the area on Saturday. Skies will be partly cloudy with a small chance of isolated to scattered afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. Highs will be in the lower to mid 90s with heat index values reaching 95 to 103 degrees. Much of the same story on Sunday, we'll have mostly clear to partly cloudy skies from west to east across the area throughout the day with a small chance of isolated to scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms with the higher chances on the eastern side of the area. Afternoon highs will be in the lower to mid 90s, with some locations possibly hitting the upper 90s. On Monday, shower and thunderstorm chances increase, as we'll have a short wave that will, be, that will begin to move into the area. Skies will start off mostly clear, but clouds will be on the increase throughout the day. Those rain chances will increase during the morning hours, and the higher chances will be along and north of the I-20 corridor. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid 90s across the area. On Tuesday, the short wave will be exiting the area, but will continue to have slightly higher chances of showers and thunderstorms during the daytime hours. We should start to see those dissipate by the evening and be dry during the late night and overnight hours. Highs will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. We'll be back to a more seasonal pattern to end out the work week as we'll have mostly clear to partly cloudy skies on all three days with only a very small risk of a few isolated afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs on each day will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s across the area. That is all for the video for today. The next video will be out on Saturday morning, produced by yours truly. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. This is Scott Martin signing off for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. 
Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call plumbing experts today.